สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thailand Today here on NBT World. The ongoing trade war between United States of America and China is currently impacting Thai industries and the employment situation. With the about 370,000 university graduates unable to find work, and the situation is expected to be worsened when the new batch of about 300,000 graduates leave their campuses this year. So today we have uh, Dr. Apichai Sombun Pagon. He is a spokesperson of the Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research, and Innovation. To join our program, he will tell us about the Nation Building Youth Program, aiming to help tackle unemployment among university students. So, Swadika. Swadika. Welcome to Thailand Today program, sir. Well, thank you for inviting me here, <laughs> Doctor. Well, it was formerly when we all know that Ministry of Science and Technology. Well, all of a, shall I say, all of a sudden, no, is is the plan? It, 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 we we know, have a plan. Somehow. Yeah, we, yeah. Have, we just have a plan. Uh, do, do, do meet and then move into Ministry of Higher Education. You call in short, it's Mahe Mahesi, right. right? So tell us about a little bit on that, please. Well, let let me start with this. Like um, Ministry of uh, Science Technologies, we. Um, Responsibility is more like on, on the science, technology, innovations. Uh, we, have, we have only a pool of um, sort of research teams, right? We have a too Nas small, yeah, one. too small. Like we have a NASA academies, we have GISTA, we have um, uh, Thailand research institutions, but yeah. we have only a, a, a small pool of research batch that yeah, we can so. produce innovations. But all the research, all the innovations, is actually within the university. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. the ideas of Well, if you want to move Thailand toward these innovations to make uh, Thailand to be more competitive in the world, uh -huh. world economies or world research uh -huh. institutions, so we need to combine uh -huh. these uh, Ministry of Science educations yeah. with all the all the university or researcher, okay. and including the funding agency. So oh. the idea is just to combine the three components: that is a science and technology okay. ministry uh -huh, yes. and the funding agency, yes. and the third one is all the research community. In all the universities, so we combine oh, all the oh, higher educations oh, into one. Into one. So uh -huh. now we can actually drive using the resource of the technology, uh -huh. using the funding yeah. available, mm. and using all the academia, all mm. the professor, all the research in all university, and drive this talent toward the directions that we aim for. Mm. And that's mm. the whole idea behind why we want to combine these three elements together. Yeah. Well, so the question is more like, what happened in the past? Uh -huh. Why talent still? Stepping on the, the same pace, and uh, we are not moving forward. Uh, so now mm, we have to give a credit to uh, the minister, um, Dr. Suwit yeah, himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. He he had the ideas of well, we need to set up the plan, set up the directions. So mm. he set up what we call the uh, National Higher Education Science Technology and mm. Innovation Policy Council, mm. head mm. by uh, doctors, uh, Dr. Dr. Uh, Somkit himself. Okay. So to guide and to direct Thailand to the right directions. Ah. So we need to have set a plan. We, we have. We, when, when did we have this? Oh, we, we just Two recently. Years. No, this council we just recently have ah. under the ideas of Dr. Suit himself. Okay. It, so now we set more like a all the the thought leaderships, all the mm. wisdom people together mm. Mm. into one council and okay. try to direct what Thailand needs to be next. Ah. Ah. So we define several ideas. Yeah. Like first. Initiative we come up, we have to move to a, to this BCG, bioeconomy, okay, circular yeah. economies, uh, and green economies ideas. This is where Thailand have the competitiveness. This particular yeah, what do you call bio and all that kind BCG, of thing. Yeah. BCG is going to be held in a university. No, right? BCG is a concept. It's, it's a concept. concept. It's like a concept of um, what is Thailand good at. Oh, okay. We are good at. We have a lot of biodiversity, uh, cultural diversity. So, uh, yeah. why don't we utilize this sort of a asset uh, that we have to compete with others? So we have biodiversity. So we focus on agriculture, agriculture food yeah. uh -huh. industry. That's the main priority. Uh, Second one is more like a, a medical industry, yes. and third is energy uh, yes. and high mm. value tourism. Mm. So these are all the strategic plan uh -huh. that we can use this these ideas to drive Thailand. In in this uh, in in in, in compare with the competitors mm -hmm. in the world, yeah. Interesting. This is very wise, very interesting to know this because. But you, they have brought it to you already. No, right? no. We we have a plan. <laughs> we have set this plan. Uh -huh. Why we uh, 
working under the Ministry of Science and Technologies. Yes. And then we actually moved this idea to it when we are formed into the Ministry of Higher Education, mm. Science, Research mm. and Innovations. Mm. So it is a plan. No, and Dr. Sweet, had, uh, Dr. Sweet has planned these ideas while he was in the Ministry of Science and Technologies. It's a bit about two years. Yeah, two like years ago. Something, something right. like that. And uh, then he now executing, executing in this uh, uh, Mahesi uh, 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 ministry. Yeah. Very interesting. So what is the importance of this Mahesi aims to help to tackle the unemployment? Well, well, first, now, before, before if we have Ministry of Science Technology, we have only Science Technologies. But now yeah. we have uh -huh. this group of um, college or the university student combined mm. together, mm. right? So now we have the uh, knowledge, we have the research, yes. we have the funding, okay. and we have all the manpower, which is the students, uh, oh, right? Okay. So what we need to do with them. Uh. So we say that, well, we're going to have uh, l as you mentioned earlier that we have a batch of students who are going to graduate soon. Okay. But I think something that a lot of people misconceptions in terms of unemployment. Uh, yes, we do have unemployment, but, but we are not, not talking that high, not that high. Yeah, yeah. Because mm. the record employments mm. maybe look about it, think about it. All all the new generations right now, sometimes they don't go they to choose. work. They they choose they choose particular yeah. that they want to Right. It. And they don't choose sometimes they choose like not to work with the company. They choose to be self employed. Uh. They choose to work as a social media. They, they choose they, selling things yeah, on selling the things, they trading they online, uh, and and this all these things uh, is actually they are employed. Uh, uh, they actually get get we, we don't make count money, this as unemployed. but we didn't count it. Uh, so that's why we are overestimating in terms of uh, this unemployment is high. Okay, and that's just idea. So we want uh, to uh, clear out this misconception first. Okay, that uh, they are employed, but maybe they don't employ at the right job that they prefer well, or they yeah, learn, uh, uh, and that's uh, the issue that mm. we have to address. It's not about employment. It's uh -huh. about the choosing the right job for these for the right graduate person. students, mm -hmm. right? Right. Mm -hmm. But uh, this program is helping. Yeah, definitely. Class, this program is this helping. Very helpful to them, right? Right. So we have the programs called um, we call in Thailand is um, uh, um, youth as a nation builder. Okay. We call in Thailand as a uh -huh. And this idea is the philosophy behind this idea is this. Well, the students graduate soon, okay. so we have a three-track program inside. Mm. First is called um, youth, youth, youth vo vo volunteers, so oh. they volunteer. So what happened is that we say that all the uh, college students, third year, fourth year, yeah. you, ha you can choose mm. to do some projects, mm. cross-disciplinary projects, and work together. And you can find the area to address the issue of the communities, you can actually form together and have one professors or instructors to help them to help the community. So we mm. use the students to explore the ideas before mm. they even graduate, explore mm -hmm. that what they like mm. and, and learn from the communities, learn to solve the problems. Mm -hmm. So we mm. have we mm. sort of have a two prone strategies. First is get this all the students to understand yeah. about what's mm. their role mm. in the communities and yeah. actually help the poverty eradication. Mm. That's the first one. Mm -hmm. But the second yes. one, let's say if you already graduate, we have another programs. It's called the graduate volunteers. Okay. So like. look, these students, first they want to get a job, but we say that, well, you can think about it first. We give you the projects. You can actually work together with professors in the university uh -huh. and create some projects, but the government will fund you. Okay. So basically you're employed by the great. government. That is great. You're employed by the government uh -huh. and this group of people, what they need to do is to find the projects to solve maybe community problems uh, some of the pain point of property eradication projects so they can think about the ideas that they want to do uh -huh. from what they have learned. But uh -huh. they have to be a cross-disciplinary group, uh -huh. not only one individual. Uh -huh. So we say you set a team uh -huh. of maybe 10 people uh -huh. with the professor you used to work uh -huh. with or you used to study with, but you already graduate. Okay. And you form a team and this team can mobilize into all the places Mm, and address the poverty issue, mm. address the pain point. Does it mean they have to go to a particular community? Yes, they have to select Do the community. You have to select community. Yeah, this particular and one. And then uh, research. And, Some and kind of research? No, they have, must mean, have a see, plan see first. The uh -huh. No, they have, must have a plan what uh -huh. to do. So they have to do the previous research, what is the problem. Uh -huh. And they form a team and use the knowledge from maybe their peer, the team. They want to form together uh -huh. teams and help sort of solve the issues of these communities mm -hmm. and we pay them to do that. Mm -hmm. The good thing is that they're employed right now. Mm -hmm. But 
why they're employed, they can actually explore, research what they like. Maybe they want to go back to their home, hometown, home mm -hmm. countries and actually fix the problems that they see when they are shy during the childhood. So this is an idea that This we, is the dream that we want to. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is like <laughs> this we, want is to, <laughs> we want to involve them. Uh, we want, uh, involve them, uh, go back to yeah. communities and... It's high time, doctor. It's high time for Thailand to have such a thing because uh, we normally have irresponsible, irresponsibility children. Right, right, right. Right, after right. Finish because their parents may have money or something. You know, they don't much uh, to learn about that. Very interesting. So can you explain the model of the implementing the Nation Building Youth Program? Right, good. So, well, this idea is new. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do first is that we have to pilot. Mm -hmm. Make sure we have a pilot idea first. Mm -hmm. So um, we set up the big pilot projects of mm -hmm. youth as uh, Nation Builders on the part of a uh, student volunteers, okay. the first one, yes. in Karasin province. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, so the question is like, why do we choose Karasin? That, that's uh, uh, yeah, the that's first question, that. right? Uh, so uh, I, think, uh, I, think, I think the question is like, well, we have to look at where people are very poor. Mm. Mm. The ministry, he said that before we choose, we have to understand where we want to attack the problem. So Karasin is actually one of the very good pilot model. First, we have the system called TP map, Thailand Poverty's map, okay. where people are poor. Yes. So from this analysis, Kalsin become one of the top three provinces that have poverty lines. Yeah, there are lots of people is below a poverty line. Uh, so we choose Kalsin as a first uh, target pilot. pilot yes. And then Kalsin have a lot of inequalities. There are a lot of lack of natural resource. Mm. So they have lots of problems. Mm. So it's a good sort of pilot place that we want to uh, use the students to attack these problems together. The students should be dispatched from Bangkok or locally? Well, the idea is that, the idea is that local communities take care the of community. themselves. Uh -huh. So basically we focus on the group of students, the volunteer students yes. within the province area. Uh -huh. but, how, but yeah. yeah. How, far, how far is it going? Well, the things that we, we, we have, like Karasin is in Northeast, so we have maybe Konkan University, okay. we have Kalasin University, yeah. we have Rajapat, we mm. have uh, some of the neighboring Rajapat uh, students, mm -hmm. former teams, but sort of mobile to Karasin mm. uh, province and trying to find a communities where they can have projects together. Oh, and okay. then that's the first starting that we have. Okay, we're going to come back for the second part. Then. Right, definitely. We, so we're coming to the end of the first part of our interview, so please stay tuned for the next. Welcome back to our program. We are still with Dr. Apichai Sambun Pakon. He will tell us more about the uh, Nation Building Youth Program. Yep. Yes, sir. So, oh, what about the target group? Who are the target group of the student of the graduate? So, Prachara, you call Prachara Volunteer yep. Project and Startup. I'm really. What was that? Why did the, 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 the Startup will be little afterwards? Right. Could go with that too, because I really want to know what Startup. In, do start up how it mm. is going to be like. So it's, there's a logic behind. Ah. So we say that this youth as a nation builder is a big program. Yes, sir. So we separate two, three. First, those who's actually still in the college, uh -huh. right? Third year, fourth year. Uh -huh. You could actually volunteer Routine. students of communities. Right, right. And that's the first one. How do we select them? Mm -hmm. So 
can everyone sort of join this program? Mm. Definitely yes. But the idea is that you have to sort of uh, be in a university who's actually partnered with this program. So mm. currently in, in uh, Karasin, we have uh, seven universities that's actually partnered with this program. Mm. So the student, third year, fourth year student, if you want to join these programs, mm. they can actually write a proposal and okay. submit it to the mm. centrals and they can review the ideas. Okay. Well, these ideas are really good. They can uh -huh. actually help solve these problems in the communities. So we have a criteria to select them. Okay. May have to look at cross-disciplinary. Cross uh -huh. We cannot have like all the engineering okay. programs okay. come together yeah. and like, we want to do the idea. Uh -huh. The idea is like we want to blend cross-disciplinary students like backgrounds to work together. Maybe you have a marketing people, we have uh -huh. engineering staff, oh, uh, we have a uh, bi biologist, we mm -hmm. have chemists. Mm -hmm. So we want to form the team of cross-disciplinary and work together as a team and address the problem from different aspects, from different angles. Mm. So that's how we want them to form the team. And these uh, students, the one good thing is that they actually earn the credit of doing these projects. How? Well, they can actually work together with the, the teacher or the coach or the instructor, uh -huh. and they have to spend four months. Oh. It's not like you, you go oh. to, to the communities and come yeah. back to study lecture. Uh -huh. It's actually a four-month program. So basically, you write a poll and say that this term, I want to do a uh, student volunteers projects. This is extra from normal curriculum. No, they actually counter it. Counter it. Counter the curriculum. Oh, okay. So basically, they can actually listen to lecture. That's ah. one way of, uh, of learning. Okay. But we can actually. This is manually like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can actually do the projects oh, hands on because hands we believe on. that we, if we learn to lecture all the time, mm -hmm. soon we have certain mm -hmm. learning process. Yes. But we combine these sort of lectures before and then you uh, come to these uh, projects uh -huh. and you work with community you have a real experience projects oh, and good. this real experience projects you learn Very it more good. And, uh. and you actually contribute to the community okay. so it's a two important benefit like you actually learn and you do something good for the communities and you change the people mindset the student mm. mindset of mm. how we can actually take yeah. care of the communities uh. and that's the idea is we want to um, make sure we change the mindset of these students. Mm, they're going to be a new species, species of Thai students. Well, there could be a new species of, uh, of Thai who's very, this is, this is number, very number, kind number. heart and want to help, help the communities. Yeah. And if we grow these sort of uh, groups together, we have yeah. this uh, first project and we want to, try, want to launch it okay. uh, in, in March again with another batch of group projects and we want to expand it mm. all over Thailand. But, oh, but probably want to attack the most uh, not uh, Eastern first. Uh, no, pro those who actually have poor, poor province yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Less uh, fortunate. Yeah, less fortunate. We yeah, will say poor. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And, and, interesting. That, and that's the things, and you can write a proposal and programs mm. on that for the first part. And mm. the second part, mm. once you graduate, you can actually continue. Mm. Continue mm. the projects mm. with the same group or new, new, new group of peoples to address mm. uh, the, the, the problems. Mm. But now you get paid. Uh -huh. Before you get credit, now you uh, get paid. Okay. But they did also as a plan. No, we, we actually imp already, uh, we implement the first one. Okay. The second, we wait for the graduate. All right, all right. Once they graduate, either. What was the first one? What, what was the fruit of the the one the already done? Oh no, this one we is ongoing. Oh, oh okay. Well, okay. we started. I yeah. think they're gonna start because we just launched it this month on on Monday. Yeah. The Prime Minister Beauty he actually announced and invite oh, so all Karsin peoples to come here. Uh, and they actually show some idea, proposal to them. This, this, you see some of them. Uh, how oh, many we have. We have. Overwhelming. Eight, 800 people at, at the uh, government house on that day. Oh. And they're meeting with Prime Minister himself with a Dr. Who is the Suvitz. one who select them? They themselves offer themselves? They, well, they, they, they send proposal. Qual qualification, what well, kind the qualification, of? the proposal have to be sort of addressed the right problems. Okay. And you must have a coach, ah. the coach to coach the students. Ah. And you submit the proposal. The coach is supplied by? It's actually seven universities. It's actually their, their professor. Their professor. It's their uh, professor that's uh, teaching them. That means the student must really brainstorming before, with, yeah. with the professor themselves, right? Correct, correct. Before, oh. before, they, before, they, before they write a proposal. Mm. When they write a proposal, I think we have lots of proposals coming in and mm. we try to select the good one, the one with... Uh, Did you experience some of the smart one? Like yeah, ex oh. I, 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 I talked to uh, several of them. Uh, it's amazing. They are mm. doing a shrimp farm. Oh, yeah. Shrimp farming, and we have a professor a starting. A starting, st a they're, they're starting yeah. right now. Uh, shrimp uh, farming. Shrimp farming is a, It's actually the the problems. They're actually farming the shrimp, just, right? Uh -huh. So they have a problems. Uh, the shrimp is dead uh, all the times, and then shrimp is very small, hygienic. Uh -huh. So the problem is like 
what's the problem? So professors have been going down with the students and trying to investigate okay. and write a proposal, nice. what are they going to do? So we have a biologist, students, okay. Okay. to address the water qualities. We have engineering people okay. to address in terms of okay. maybe the oxygen in the, in, 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 in the in shrimp the farm oh. is not oh. enough. Oh. So he sort of tried to think about developing some sort some of a, technologies. some technologies oh. to increase the, the oxygen in, in, the, in the shrimp that farm. And we have another team sort of marketing. One, the shrimp is good, and then we're going to sell it. Oh. So we have a, another marketing team doing social media. That's the proposal stage. But we already see them in a little bit in action in terms of uh, they investigate and, and go down to Christ and we, we visit them and we mm. talk to them. Mm. It's amazing that it's amazing, you really. have to think about like, if you believe from these students that what they can do and give them the opportunity, I think we will have an army of uh, nation builder that can build Thailand into the next level. Mm. And, and that's the idea of Dr. Suvit, he, he, the minister himself, he actually have this idea in mind that the mm. power to drive Thailand in this stage, mm. in this age, it's like it's come from the students. Mm. It's come from the learning students who mm. want to explore and, and, and give yeah, the ideas yeah. to the communities. Yeah, the Doctor, do you, you think that because the, actually Thai student has a, a very, what do you call it, uh, not a little bit of diligent, but uh, uh, well, well, de easy to develop mm. comparing to other countries, right? Well, I think... We need what, push. Yeah, but the thing is that we don't estimate them. They are very good. Uh, uh, I, I explained to them, and they uh, they they are very they receptive, uh -huh. receptive to the uh -huh. learning, very and good. and then. But before we don't have a sort of experiment place for them. But now, when the they learn a lecture, they do mm. quite a good lecture, good mm. research. But mm. you have to be on site in the real life. Mm. That's how we want exactly. to explore them. Exactly. And that's the, the things the, that we need to to mm, focus on. It's high time. <laughs> it is the right time, yeah. The kingdom of Thailand need this change. We need we need these we students need to help it. mobilize this uh, sort of uh, 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 projects, yeah. Yes, sir. So who will volunteer? Of um, the VDV asset, how, who will volunteer? The, uh, or how will the volunteering offer opportunity to develop this uh, youth skill? Well, as a volunteer, uh, this youth for the so first one is is uh, student volunteers, right, and uh. then. They are students, but youth volunteer is when they graduate. So oh, after that, after that, okay. so before they graduate, there's one program. No need to be the same group of. No need to be the same group, but the, those who already graduate, uh, yes, right, that's another group. That's, uh -huh. But in next year, maybe there's the same group. Uh -huh. They want you to continue to do the same thing once they graduate. Uh -huh. So in this group, mm. they are doing the same idea mm. that is mm. to solve the problems community. But now they are graduate, they get paid. So mm. there must be expectations. There must be certain. I they need to ask about the payment. I mean, not exactly, but uh, the level is the average. Yes, yeah, acceptable, average. Acceptable, acceptable, acceptable oh, okay. the average. Yeah. Is it for those who are watching this? They may interested to to do so. You know. Yeah, so I think just just make sure that you uh, uh. communicate with the uh, the university. Uh. Um, they will launch these projects in in. In March, I think, yeah, mm. in March they will launch a new projects because now we're starting in Karasin mm. and we're trying to expand this scope into more universities. Uh, other the region also. Other regionals, uh -huh. in other regionals, yes, definitely. Yes, so what is a selection criteria? Uh, just now we'll talk a little bit on that mm. criteria to recruit the applicants. It's more project. like they volunteer. Ah, they volunteer, they volunteer, they uh -huh. volunteers, but but there must be criteria for them. Uh, well, of course, they have to belong to university. They what? Belong to the university. Belong to that particular university. Yeah, belong. So Garasin University. Yeah, Garasin. Uh, no, belong to any university that was having a um, program. Uh, yeah, program with with these with these uh, uh, youth uh, nations, yeah, right? Yeah. So they must be. Oh, for the first one, they must be a student at that university. What level? I mean, um, what? Third year, fourth year. Third year, fourth year. Yeah, oh, that's okay. first one. Uh -huh. But the second one, you really graduate. Yes. You must sort of go back to university and get the projects, um, forming the projects. So we, we had kind of make sure that they are belong and work together and work within the, the, the areas. Uh -huh. And, and, and that's, that's the thing. So first, they must belong to university. Mm -hmm. And university have to uh, be uh, collaborate with these programs. Okay. And there must be a group of team. Uh -huh. Cannot be an individual. Consists of like eight people, ten eight people. Eight, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. because we need a more like a. It's it's a big project. Mm. It's a big community. We cannot have one person doing mm, it. So, we have eight to ten mm. people as mm. a team to help mm. mobilize this sort of change. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and that and that is the selection criteria. And mm. then of course, if we have more proposal in, we have to look at the qualities of these proposal and the ideas of these students and which one is uh, 
good for mm -hmm. them, and then we choose the from among the best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Presently, you, we talk about uh, Garasin. We selected yep. or launching this, um, right. and what uh, the moving on. It has to be very quickly to other region. Yes. Right. So in March we're going to sort this of. This is experimental. How long? Oh, Garasin, how long four you months. see it? Four months. The first one, ah, the first okay. is four months. So ah, yeah. it's already launched and ah. it will start four months. So we are prepare mm. other university in other province for this program. But mm. of course, we don't want to move too fast. Yeah. We have to observe. It's ah. experiments, a pilot. We have to observe whether mm. these 83 groups of, peop of, of students actually deliver what we expect them. Mm. So right now we have 83 sort of projects within Garasin, mm. composed of maybe 800 students mm. combined in the teams. Mm. So in this first term of four months, we want to observe, so what's the problems, is there any mm. constraints, mm. and what is expected result? Do we see any progress? Mm. Do students learn or comfortable how the mechanics work? Mm. This is the first project, but we prepare the rest of the university who mm. want to join these programs okay. that we want to fix, or if we have any sort of ideas, we want to fix and get them prepared because it happened at every starting of the semester. Mm -hmm. So the next one, we have to prepare them, and then the next semesters, the student have to sign in and then work it. So we have a lot of uh, time constraint that we have to move forward, mm -hmm. as, as you mentioned. Yeah, this is quick projects, but definitely we're going to make a lot of good results. And I think the Prime Minister himself and Dr. Suwit, uh, mm -hmm. our minister, he's actually hoped that mm -hmm. this one's going to be very fruitful projects and going to give a lot of opportunities and experience to all the students. Wish you all the best, sir. Thank for you. What you're undertaking. Thanks. This is a heavy, hard <laughs> business, also. Definitely. That. All right, we're ending up our program with great thanks to Dr. Apichai Sombut Pakon. He's a spokesperson of the Ministry of Higher Education, Science and Research and Innovation. Thank you for being here with us and we'll give, Thank you very we'll much. see you again. All right. We're ending up our program uh, and looking forward to seeing you and hope you enjoy the show. Thanks for watching Thailand today. Sorry.